So today I'm going to demonstrate how you can use the new ChatGPT that's integrated into the Bing search to uh, be able to search the visitor documentation and just ask it questions using natural language. And so to get to the uh, the new Bing search engine, you just have to use the Edge browser right now, and then you type in Bing search, and then you click on chat. And this brings you to that interface. And now to search any website, which I'm just going to use the visitor documentation here. And then you put site colon, and then the site that you're wanting to ask. So this is the visitor documentation address. And then I just say, how do I create a new wizard script? So just asking it in natural language. And then you'll get some results. The results may vary, but this is pulling it from the visitor documentation, so you get the links here you can click on that'll take you to where it's referencing that information that it's giving you. And then here you can see it's actually just giving you the exact code that you would need to start import the viz module, the viz effects module, which are needed for the 3D models. Using viz.go to be able to launch the uh, graphics window and then is giving you the code that you can use to load a scene model and then also just giving you some extra code that's from that tutorial that it's linking here if you want to disable the headlight and now I can continue to ask it questions using natural language maybe I'll ask it can, can you walk me through what each line of code is doing And so now that I've asked it to break down a little bit of what each line is code is doing, then you can see it was saying import viz, the line imports the viz module, which contains many of Vizard's core commands. Viz.go, this opens a Vizard application window and starts the simulation. And then the, here we're, we're adding the model. This line loads a scene model named lobby.osgb and adds it to the scene as a child of the root node. The an add child method returns a reference to the newly added node which is stored in the variable lobby and then this is giving you what this line is doing about the headlight so you can see how this is a pretty useful tool for just being able to search um, the visitor documentation but really any any website and so this is what the new being you, you can also get a lot of utility out of the original chat GPT as well at chat.openai.com slash chat um, I mean, if you ask it questions on how to do stuff in Wizard, it might give mixed results because if it doesn't understand how to do something, it might create code that doesn't actually exist. So then you have to do a little bit of trial and error sometimes, whereas the, the Bing one actually is searching the documentation, so it's going to be more relevant that way. But you can also, it's really good sometimes if you have some code here in Wizard and you want to get more information. The original chat GPT actually can give sometimes more detailed information and so maybe I could ask can you explain what this code is doing and then I could copy and paste my visited code. And so this is just spitting out what each line of code is doing. And there are hit like I said hit and miss um, results that you might get with asking it just straight questions of how to do stuff in Wizard, but this one that isn't accessing the documentation so I could say how do I add a slider in Wizard and so this code you'll have to just play around and, and see kind of what works but it at least give you like a starting point whereas the other one from Bing will give you more of the straight code or you can ask a general questions like how do 3d models work in Wizard, and it'll spit out a pretty lengthy explanation of how Wizard works with 3d models
and so yeah give this a try and see how it works and either the Bing chat GPT where you could search directly from the documentation or the other um, chat open AI chat GPT